This is an H-E-B tortilla bed. I just took the tortillas out of it. And I just cut it. Our, our tortillera, which is just a corn tortilla press. This bag's kind of crooked. You've got your corn husk, um, and you just separate them, and then you'll take a wring the water out of them. You just want them to be soft so that you can bend them. I just cover my table with plastic. Uh, you want to keep your masa covered up when you're not using it because you don't want it to dry up. And so our masa is ready. Um, you don't have to make the little circles. I just do. Uh, that's probably, I don't know, a couple tablespoons or so. Put it on your tortilla press. You don't have to press hard because the dough's really soft. Uh, you get those crinkles in there because it's the crinkles in the plastic. And then you take your meat, and it's, this is to your preference. If you like your tamales really skinny, then just put a little bit of meat. Uh, if you like them nice and fat, then put more meat. You're gonna fold it over just so that the tortilla, that, I mean, not the tortilla. <laughs> that the masa touches the other side, and then you roll it. You don't have to make little balls. I'm just used to making them. So, you grab your little masa. You don't have to smash it down hard because it's, masa's really soft. Put your meat in there. Flip it over. <laughs> and then just stack them on the side. Get yourself a good little stack and then, especially if you're doing it by yourself, get somebody to help you, it goes a lot quicker. Anyone out there is timing me, but when you're rolling the tamales, they have a slippery side and a rough side. If you put it on the rough side, your tamale is gonna stick. You're gonna have to peel it off of there. So always make sure you put it on the slick side. And I just lay it in there. And then, um, and then wrap it. You can make a whole stack of them. Just kind of cradle it like a baby. But as you can see, um, if you put it too close to the edge, when you cook it, it's going to stick out here. So, you know, go in about half inch or so, so that it doesn't explode on you because they do expand when they cook. Okay, I have my tamales all placed in my basket. This is a basket that, it's not a tamale steamer, it's actually used to make jams, it's just the pot. I filled it with water at the bottom. I have my burner on high right now. Once that starts boiling, then I'm gonna reduce the heat just a little bit, just adjust it so that there's a constant boil on there because you don't want the water to, it's got the top compartment. You wanna put your tamales in there standing up and um, 
not too packed, a little bit loose. We're going to cook these on high because really you're just going to have the water boiling on the bottom for about 45 minutes and they should be ready and I'll show you what they look like uh, when I finish them. Okay, I actually let them stay for 50 minutes and our tamales are ready. I'm going to pull one out and uh, just grab this one. Ah, it's hot. Put it on the plate. I'm going to show you how easy it is to unwrap it. Nothing sticks to the oha. Um, so you put that off to the side, you don't want to eat that. The tamale is actually really hot right now, so you want to probably let it sit for a few minutes before you try to stick it in your mouth. But let's cut it open. 